Zara, wake up! Zara, wake up! It's getting late! Zara, wake up! It's getting late! Everyone's dressed up and ready! Uskan auntie has also come and Danish will be coming at any time soon. <coughs> Shopping carts, specifically those handles, could be contaminated with up to one million germs. We found E. coli on most of the shopping carts. Salmonella, E. coli, and Staph aureus are nasty bacteria that cause severe gastrointestinal illnesses. Certain uncommon strains can even be deadly. It is important we understand that these handles of the trolley are most tough objects. As a precautionary measure, we should try to disinfect the handles of the trolley with an antiseptic wipe. After cleaning the handles, we should give our hands a good wipe as well. Let me ask you the next. I would say the gas we can start with. Hey, you are right. We carry it is more. But never knew that we carry jobs with them as well. Let me have an interesting fact. The speed of our sneeze is 100 miles per hour. And a single, single sneeze. Jump 
on daily basis. Okay, this is a no-brainer. We are at the most common job locking place. We can start with the door handles, the washing tabs, the flush handles. Wherever you look, you will find the germs lurking. The question is, how to protect ourselves from the germs getting onto our hands? Good question, Jason. It's simple. Let's say it together. Washing hands. Washing hands regularly reduces the chances of germs getting onto our hands. Thereby, it reduces the chances of getting sick. Hands can be washed with soap or just by water itself. It's better to wash with antibacterial soap or antibacterial hand wash to get the better results of getting those germs out. Let's see a video on what can happen when we visit a toilet or a washroom. It is important to follow a routine when utilizing public toilets. Remember that you are entering the most common germ locking place. After you are done, kindly ensure you use the flush. Wet your hands with water and apply antibacterial hand wash to make enough lather. Follow the 7 steps as demonstrated in the earlier video. Rinse off the soap from your hands and ensure you off the tap with back of your palm or your forearm. Dry your hand with paper towels to ensure it is not wet. Use the same tissue to open the lock and handle of the door. Remember to keep good housekeeping and throw the used paper towel in the respective trash bin. That can be surely followed. The important note is to save water while washing your hands after going to the loo. Hey, I think we have a good idea now to know what and where to find the common germ blocking places. Let's head back. Let's go. Sapu! Hello guys, glad to meet ya. Do you know who I am? I'm part of an army that's everywhere. What? You don't see us around ya? Aha! We're very, very, very tiny. You can't see us with open eyes. You can only see us under a microscope. But we're everywhere. On the doorknob, on the table, on your skin, everywhere. We're also called microbes, as we can only be seen under a microscope. And some people call us germs, too. Germs, yes, germs. We can cause many diseases. Hey, stop! Don't run away! If you want to avoid us, first understand us. The more you understand us, the more healthy you can be. Good. First, let me show you my body. <laughs> I'm a little complex, but let me tell you in a very simple way. My outer shell is called a capsid. It is a protective protein coat. Inside, there is nucleic acid. It can be RNA or DNA. Confused? Okay, let me be more simple. I have an outer coat and some material inside called nucleic acid. How do I make a person sick? Ah, uh, let me tell you a secret. When we enter the human or animal bodies, I make copies of myself. That means I multiply myself. Let me show you how I do it. A virus like me can enter your body through your nose, mouth, or from broken skin. After that, we enter your body cells, we remove our coat, then our nucleic acid gets mixed up with human body cell manufacturing factories. And then we do our dirty magic. Your body cell then starts making copies of us. Yes, human body cells start producing viruses. These viruses then start attacking other human body cells. And that is how a virus makes you sick. Ha <laughs> ha! Scared again? Don't worry, we can't make you sick every time we enter your body. Your immune system has white blood cells. They're like police for guarding your body against us. Once they find or see us, they whistle and they name us antigens. Then they send antibodies to kill us. Sometimes you get a fever. Your body temperature goes up and viruses are killed due to high temperature. So a fever can protect you from viruses. Yes, you can also get vaccinated. Vaccines produce a lot of antibodies in your body. And when we enter your body, these antibodies help your immune system to kill us. And yes, you can avoid us. You should always wash your hands. You should cover any wound with a bandage. 
and you should not shake hands with somebody who is already sick. Wow! That is certainly eye-opening! We can certainly avoid jumps by washing our hands and being away from the people having flu. Yes! I'm glad that the video opened up eyes and gave us an understanding on how the germs spread in our body. Let's head to the washroom and demonstrate how to have a good hand wash. Snap to Bye. 